Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Outrun. I'm CPC Gamer, and my mouth tastes like metal today. I hope I'm not becoming ill. It might explain a few things if I am. Do you know what? I used to have a cast iron immune system, but now, not so. I mean, I still get over illness really, really quickly. Like, the last time I had a cold, it took me two days to get back out of bed and getting around doing whatever, but I tend to become a lot more ill a lot more frequently, I find. And... Do you know what? I blame the fact that I've lost a load of weight over the past couple of years, because I used to be fat, really, really fat, and I was massively unhappy about this, and do you know what? I found the solution is to do something about it instead of just sitting around moping like I was doing. So I started exercising, it was mostly putting the fork down sometimes, which I will be the first to admit is a hilarious message to give to people at Christmas time, but yes, through this combination I I used to have a 46 inch waist and now I'm down to 32, so I lost a third of my titanic girth and I think the third of me that I lost is the bit that fights off germs. But apparently I look pretty cool if I do say so myself. And I don't. I don't think I look very good at all, but my friends say that I do, and who am I to judge? I'm the kind of person who bases his self-worth solely on what other people think of me. It's kind of depressing. So yeah, a lot of what helped out, I feel, was that I went on the Scumbag Steve bro diet which basically says that you can eat absolutely anything you want on the condition that you get to make some sort of childish innuendo out of it. Like, you can have some small plums, you can have a nice firm pear, some big juicy melons. Thank goodness I didn't make a cock joke. Ah oh, ha ha ha, there it is! But yeah, that's... that's what helped me. Oh, come on, you crazy taxi thing. Get out the way. And, yes, I was just making, paying so much attention to how I can make a crazy taxi joke that I didn't look at what I was doing and plowed straight into the back of a bus. Nice work, Andy. So, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Seagulls. Seriously? I don't think I did that well. I don't think I'm going to do too well with this stage, because this is Canyon, and it's one of my worst tracks. It's a twisty little maze of passages all alike. Oh, ho, 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 the fun of references like that. <sighs> Seriously, though, go and play the Colossal Cave Adventure, because it's pretty awesome. But this particular track has a lot of small roads, a lot of sharp turns. Thankfully, there's guardrails for me to plow into at the very least. And there's loads of traffic, and generally, this level is a jerk. It's not that one level, we'll see that soon, but realistically it's pretty close. And I suppose I should mention this, that I could theoretically stay true to my origins and play the CPC version of the game, but the CPC version looks like this. Wasn't that fantastic? Oh, there you are, ducks. Hey, ducks. And the CPC version didn't even have a proper soundtrack. They included a cassette tape of music, but it was somebody holding a tape recorder up to the arcade machine playing Splash Wave, and you had to play it in your CPC's tape deck, and then stop it every time you made a checkpoint. The CPC made a total snow crash of the port, even though apparently it sold over 30,000 copies, so... What do I know? Either way, hello next gen! Hello, advertising. Hello, a dam on the right side of the screen. I think these guys have got their golden eye levels mixed up. This is meant to be the jungle, you guys. That's at the opposite end of the game. So I gotta say, these adverts... I meant to do that. I totally meant to do that, you guys. I gotta say, the adverts kind of annoy me because I paid for this game. Why am I being advertised to in something that I paid for? It's like the 360 dashboard now has advertisements on it for a paid service. 
Yeah, that's how terribly I did there. I didn't even get a flock of ducks. I just got a, a couple. Okay, guys, here we are. The city. Follow me, set me free, trust me, and we will escape. Sorry. <laughs> had, to, had to do it. Largely so that I could go... Hey, guys, you know that remix of Escape from the City they put in Sonic Generations? The one that's the best thing in the world? I was going to put that in this game and use it as this stage's music, except I don't want to get sued into the ground. It's a pretty cool tune, though. And I don't just mean because they replaced the drummer with YM2612, which is different to the CPC sound chip, which is AY38912. And did you know they put a remix inside that remix of Escape from the City? The terrible auto-tune bit is actually singing the Endless Mine race music from Sonic 3 which is pretty great to me who noticed it like six months too late <clears throat> okie doke here's our ending we made it to New York and we get the girl this is the only ending where we actually do get the girl without being horribly maimed killed by rocks destroying the world getting stood up and collapsing because apparently we're not able to walk and lo, the saga of, what was it now, Andrew Hotbody and Lindsay with an A, Summer, draws to a close. That was goal E. This is the end of Let's Play Outrun. I'm CPC Gamer, who hasn't played a CPC game for coming on a year and a half now. And third place. Not too shabby. Alrighty. Join us next time for whatever game it is that it is that I'm going to play next. See you guys.